love is so complex. It can either be the greatest feeling in the world or it can cause immense pain. And usually it's us, people, who cause that pain because we're flawed, dishonest, scared. Emotional injury can be just as crippling as physical injury, disrupting our mood, productivity, and personal interactions, which all leads to more pain. When left to deal with this trauma on our own, the cycle never ends. But now, through the Department of Emotional Integrity, we can prevent this cycle from ever beginning. The DEI brings structure to the chaotic mess that comes with falling in love. By assigning emotional integrity scores, people are held accountable for their actions, which promotes honesty and rationality. This all leads to higher productivity in the workplace, greater financial credibility, but most importantly, successful relationships. Since its establishment, the DEI has helped millions of people in this country. Our emotional health and quality of life are at its highest ever because we can all finally have confidence in one another. Now, most of you here are 18 years old or very close, which is the legal age to register relationships with the DEI. Uh, once you're in our system, you'll be given a neutral emotional integrity score of 70. Uh, from there, it's your responsibility to increase or decrease it. Yes? How do you raise your EI score? That's a good question. Does anyone here know? What are you thinking? You find a really special girl you're crazy for, get registered, and don't let her go. <laughs> <laughs> well, that is part of it. It is true that you can increase your score by being in a registered relationship that extends beyond 12 months. You can also increase your score by uh, registering with someone who has a higher score than you. Yes. What does it mean when other kids call my mom a score digger? It means she's a slut. <laughs> hey, now, there is nothing wrong with being attracted to individuals with a higher score. Next question. Yes. What drops your score? Well, there are a number of things. Uh, the big one being, of course, terminating a relationship due to infidelity. Uh, also, uh, registering with a lower score individual, uh, terminating before 12 months. Uh, relationship fraud. All the specifics can be found here in this pamphlet. Now kids, it's important for you to remember that a higher score today means a happier tomorrow. I've seen a lot of people your age throw caution to the wind. They didn't take their score seriously. And trust me, it's never a pretty sight. Wow. Wow, this is a really great, Ben. This is interesting. You worked as a programmer for a little while. Uh, I just needed some stability, healthcare. Uh, honestly, this is some strong work. Thanks. But here's the thing, we're not only looking for someone with a strong eye, we're also looking for someone who has great communication skills and works well in a team. I, I agree. Which brings me to our next point, your EI score. Here at Origin, we have a minimum EI score requirement for all incoming employees. I know my score is a little on the low side. Uh, unfortunately, it is below the minimum. Which I, I assure you, it's just a mistake. If it is just a mistake, we'll give you some time to clear it up. But really only after that can we have a serious talk about you joining Origin. A DEI representative will be with you shortly. Did you know that individuals with higher emotional integrity scores are less likely to suffer from depression, anxiety, and other mental illnesses? Great. Remember, if you want to know more, just check their score. Thank you for holding. How can I help you? Hi. Um, I'm calling because I think you guys might have made a mistake on my EI score. Please hold. So based on everything you've shared with me, I recommend this business line of credit. Okay. Do you have your permission to run your credit and EI scores? Yeah, of course.
So what's the name of your cafe? Put this cookie in your mouth right now. Really? No, it's, it's called, um, it's called a uh, friends and flower. I like that one much better. Okay, no, it was a bad joke, but. How many years have you been operating or is this a brand new entity? Brand new. Congrats. Okay, well, it looks like your credit history is just slightly above average. I, I racked up a little debt while I was in culinary school. Your EI score is actually pretty good. So based on these, I am glad to let you know that you've been approved for a business loan. Really? Mm-hmm. Thank you. Congrats. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> Finished. That is part two of your birthday gift. <laughs> wow. Yeah, see, look, now when you get into SFU, you're going to be ready for that cold. Okay, first, if I get in. And second, it's not that cold in San Francisco. Wait, is it? I don't know. <laughs> I can't believe you made this. And that you think my hands are this big. Yeah, actually, the first one was way worse. Look at this. Bow! What? <laughs> no, 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 no. It's perfect. Um, for when I need to chew off one of my fingers. Mm. Question, though. Yeah. Where's the other one? Well, I'm still working on it. But I realized that a girl like you only needs one glove, really. Well, what about my other hand? That works, right? Yeah, that works. <laughs> Is she leaving? We just got here. She says she's not feeling well. Um, uh, honey. I love you, mm -hmm. but did you say something? Of course not, she just... She got the sense tonight might be a setup, so she looked up and scored. Oh my God! Yeah. Did you tell her that he's our best friend? You're our best friend. Did you tell her that he's a great guy and there's a good explanation for his score, all right? Oh. He was a top programmer and he's working at Origin now. Technically, I'm still in the application phase. Don't have a job yet. Sorry, Ben. I didn't realize you could hear us. She just, she's a plus 80, and she says she doesn't have time for a sub 40. So. God, this is so awkward. I'm totally fine. I meant for me. Don't feel bad. It's not you, it's your score. OK. Actually, I don't know how true that is. You just, you need to fix your score, Ben. You're an adult now. Sorry it didn't work out, man. I'm totally fine. It just means she's not right for me. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. Not right for you? Are you kidding me? Her EI score is 82. Wow. Dating someone like her for a year will up your score by like 50%. OK, but she has apparently already decided that I am not worthy. Ben, why are you doing this to yourself, man? Look at Sandy and I. When we both turned 18, we did everything the right way, OK? We followed all the rules. We filed the proper paperwork. And what did that lead to? I think what you guys have is so nice. To both of us being plus 80s when our paths finally crossed. Can you imagine what she would have done if I had screwed around and I was a sub 60 or 50 when we met? She would have blown me off. But look at us now, right? We're both plus 90s. We have a great, healthy relationship. Don't you want that for yourself? Just make an appointment at the DEI. Oh, honey, I'm home. Hey, where you been? Uh, sorry, me and the guys hit up a happy hour, and yep. Nice. Mm. Well, I was just trying to call to let you know that I, um, I got the loan. Dude. I know. I told you it would work <laughs> out. Yes, <laughs> sir. That is why I got you some beautiful 
croissants. Those are apple pie cookies. Yes. Yes, they are. Mm -hmm. Would you like one? I'm good, but please help yourself. Oh, I'm celebrating. You need I'm them. celebrating. Whenever you want to celebrate with me, I brought one for you. Thank you. <laughs> Hey, uh, Sarah, how are you? I'm good. Uh, sorry, I just, it's been so long, I thought maybe you called me by accident. <laughs> Believe it or not, I still have not met another Sarah since you. It's been a while, huh? Um, actually, if you're busy, I can call back another time. No, it's fine. I'm just, um, working on a menu. Oh, for what? Uh, I'm in the process of opening up a cafe. That's amazing. That's always been your dream. Congrats. Thanks. Oh, actually, that's, that's why I'm calling. Did you know that we filed conflicting termination reports? So, uh, it's giving me a red flag on my record. I don't know if you had the same problem. For a little while, but I started dating someone, so it you kind of... I, yeah, that, that's really great. Well, my, mine never improved, uh, and I'm up for this job. So what do you need from me? Uh, would you be uh, free sometime this week to go oh. down to the DEI with me? And um, I think needs to be there in person to work out the details? I mean, I'm pretty busy lately, Ben. I've got the contractors coming this week. I can set up the appointment. It'll only take about an hour. <sighs> I'm sorry to be bringing up the past, but I really need this. Please. Uh, Thursday, late afternoon, I'll, I'll meet you there. Thank you, thank you, thank you. No, all right, I'll, um, I'll see you there. I didn't get in. She's like the smartest person I know. Don't even worry about it. She's book smart. You're, you're smart smart. All right, so you ready? Yeah, no, Ugh, I don't know. Okay, you go first. I promise you we do it at the same time. Okay. Can you believe they actually used to do this by mail? What if we don't get in? What? No, stop. We'll be fine, okay? Promise? Yeah, trust me. Okay. Yeah. The count of three, okay? Okay. One. Two. Three. Three.
Ben. I'm sorry. I... <sighs> sorry I'm late. Yeah. Uh... Mm. I guess technically we're both a year late. <laughs> yeah, right. Thanks for coming. Yeah. So what's this new job you have on the line? Um, I have an opportunity at a design firm. Cool. Programming? Designing, actually. Now serving 18A. Wow. Well, that's good. You always talked about pursuing that. Yeah. Talk too much, thought I'd finally go for it. Are you sure that you want to do this? I'm sorry. I just... I don't think that I'm going to ever find anybody like you. May I interrupt you? Um, I think I heard enough. Uh, Mr. Fisher, Mr. Bradley, uh, thank you for doing your best to recount your relationship. Uh, I know situations like this can be difficult to look at with a clear head and a clear heart, and that's why I'm here. So, uh, based on your testimonies, I am assigning Clint 76% fault and the remainder to Scott. But, uh, Mr. Bradley, you will most likely find love with someone else, so don't worry. Thank you. You're welcome. Mr. Fisher, that's a nice jacket. Oh, I can't believe this. Thank you. Confirmation reports will be sent to you soon. Hello. Hi. Uh, How can I help you? Yeah, we were in a relationship that ended a little over a year ago. Okay. We submitted termination reports, but we didn't exactly sign off with each other. Okay. Um, well, let's look at your relationship history. So you were in a registered relationship for three years. Uh, you had high numbers in all relationship categories. Started to dip towards the end there. And, uh... You both submitted termination reports that didn't match. Right. Right. As you know, termination reports must state the same reasons and be signed off by both parties. This is common knowledge. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, ben, you reported that Sarah was at full fault for the termination due to infidelity. Wait, um... We're not, we're not going to go with your report, are we? Yeah. <laughs> I, I thought... But that's ridiculous. You know that's not what happened. With Peter? Uh, who's Peter? A touchy-handsy Peter. I like to touch things with my hands. I'm a chef. Peter was a classmate. Nothing happened. I've told you this <laughs> over and over again, Ben. A kiss is nothing? You kissed Peter? Okay, if you want to go there, what about you and uh, what's your face? Okay, oh. we're going to go with my report. That is the definition of nothing happened. Debbie is one of my best friends. We were close before you and I ever started dating. You knew that. You spent the night. Yeah, that's very inappropriate. You kicked me out. She kicked me out. What is going on? I thought that we were going to settle this today. I'm not going to sign off on something that's not true. Ben, that would drop my score so low, I'd lose the loan on my cafe. I am up for an actual job, not some pipe dream. I'm sorry. Wow. I, no, that's fine. I don't need this. My score is fine. I, I'm Good I'm luck, sorry. Ben. I... We'll be right back. Hey everyone, I hope you enjoyed the movie. It feels really nice to finally have a home for it on our YouTube channel. For anyone that wants a physical copy of the movie, we have this Blu-ray DVD set that comes with an art book and a lot of special features. All the links will be below. Check it out. Thanks guys.